all to the thing called Margaret. I just got the pins in the mail. I haven't done a reading challenge in a very long time, so it's about time I'm going to be doing another one. And I came up with this challenge that may be my most difficult one yet. My challenge for tomorrow is that I'm going to try to read every spare second, okay, make that minute, of my day, whether that be a physical book or an audio book. When I'm cooking, when I'm working, when I don't have to consciously think about something. Every spare second that I have, I'm going to try to read. And I have two books that I plan to hopefully read a lot from, one physical and one um, audiobook. The first one is called Night Bitch, written by Rachel Yoda. And this is about a woman, um, a mother, and it says, one day the mother was a mother. And then one night she was quite suddenly something else. This is very much, again, a like an unhinged female character story about a woman who is not feeling her best. She's got a kid as well and her husband who's always traveling for work. So we're really going to kind of figure out what's happening in her brain, what she's thinking, how she's changing. So this is my physical book. I've read 20 pages so far. So we'll see about this one. It's quite short, so you never know. And then the audiobook that I'll be listening to is Sally Rooney's Beautiful World, Where Are You? Um, this is about four characters and it's all about, you know, love, breakup, friendship, traveling, struggles. Normal people was not really my favorite, but I find this one on audiobook, so let's see if I like this more. So for tomorrow, for example, when I'm getting ready in the morning, when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm just like, you know, getting my outfit together, I'm going to be listening to the audiobook. And speaking of getting ready, this video is kindly sponsored by Ana Luisa Jewelry. I am absolutely obsessed with their jewelry pieces. If you've never heard of Ana Luisa before, I don't know how, but they're my absolute favorite jewelry company. They create the most elegant, sustainable pieces. All of the pieces are carbon neutral. They make sure that everything that they take from the earth to create the pieces, they will give back in the end. And the prices are absolutely amazing because they range from $39 up and they've all got the best quality. I've got some pieces for years and they still look so great and I wear them every single day. So I thought I would show you a couple of the pieces that I'm wearing today. First of all, this amazing ring party. I finally found two pink rings that I've wanted for ages. And are these two cute ones? Oh, they're so gorgeous and adorable. And then also this one, a very big one that can fit around my pointy finger. And then these gorgeous earrings. They are so elegant and so pretty. Gold is just my absolute favorite jewelry color, so that's where I wear it all the time. So if you would like to check out Anna Luisa and get 10% off, you can use the code basicallybrit10. I will um, put it right here as well as in the description down below so you can check it out. So, you know, pick out a piece for yourself or for a family member as a gift. If you buy it as a gift, you can also get these really beautiful gift wrap um, boxes as well and it's honestly just always a party unwrapping the pieces. They also come in these really cute pouches that you can also reuse to travel with and I'm just very excited about these pieces as you can probably tell. So definitely check out the link in my description, use the code basically we're 10 to get 10% off and again thank you so much Anna Louisa for working with me on this video but now I will see you tomorrow when my reading challenge is about to start. So the moment I wake up I'm going to try to not scroll on TikTok and Instagram. I'm going to try to either read my physical book or listen to my audiobook, and we'll see how much reading I'll be able to get done. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow. But first, very important, charging all my wireless headphones. So I will never run out of headphones that I can use to listen to my audiobook.
good morning. So the reading challenge has begun. It is currently 9 a.m. in the morning. And when I woke up, the first thing I did was start listening to Beautiful World, What Are You by Sally Rooney. And I'm enjoying this one very much already. 16% of the way through already. <laughs> so I've listened to this just in my bed for like half an hour, I think. Then whilst I was just doing my makeup, making breakfast, getting dressed, doing everything. So now I'm fully dressed and I've already listened to 16%. And as I mentioned, I'm really enjoying it so far already. We're just getting to know the characters, but I don't know. I feel like I'm going to like this, <laughs> even though I've only read 60%, but I've got this feeling, so I really hope so. Then just when I had my um, breakfast, made myself a cup of tea as well, and then I decided to physically read a little bit. So I have read a grand total of three pages <laughs> in my pitch. <laughs> Um, but I will definitely continue reading this one later on today. But right now it's just easier to do a little bit of work whilst listening to the audiobook. Um, and then I will take some little reading breaks in between to read my physical book. But I have this feeling that I may be able to finish the entire audiobook today. So we'll see if that is going to happen. But that would be exciting. So let's start doing some work and I will keep you updated. Okay, a little update. It is 20 to 11. I have listened to 28% of Beautiful World, What Are You? And I'm enjoying it very much. So that is exciting. I think I'm liking this one more than normal people right now. Don't kill me. But um, I just did some work. I also cut loads of these little pin backing cards. Yes, I still, like I just need to get them printed and cut somewhere. Um, so I don't have to cut them out myself, but this is actually much cheaper and I can just do it whilst doing something else like this, you know, like listening to an audiobook and it's quite therapeutic actually. So I cut loads of these pin backing cards because I'm getting new pins for my next shop update, which I'm so excited about. So I am not too sure when the shop update will be by the time you see this video, but I will definitely post it everywhere on my Instagram as well as on YouTube on like the community tab. Um, so I will show you a couple of things that will be in the next shop update. You know, Halloween and autumn are just around the corner. So I've created a few new sticker sheets. First of all, this one, which is a Halloween themed one. With lots of Halloween things. <laughs> as well as this bigger sticker, which is a big Halloween sticker. It says trick or treat and some potions. Then we've also got I can't really choose my favorite. I think this may be my favorite from this shop update. It's like a, an autumn themed one because of course autumn is my season. <laughs> okay, I like this one a lot as well. This is a coffee break sticker sheet with lots of coffee items and a little croissant and some iced coffee and a French press. And then the last chick sticker sheet is this one with lots of sweets and desserts which I think is very cute. Something totally different. I just, I don't know. I suddenly wanted to draw food. Then some new bookmarks. First of all, this autumn themed bookmark, it comes with or without a tassel. You can choose yourself. And it's basically um, lots of autumnal doodles with some pumpkins and some acorns and some leaves and then a, a tassel as well, if you would like. Then the next one is another silver foil bookmark. And this one, has lots of different shapes and sizes of boobs because they're all beautiful and, you know, body positivity. So this one I think may be my favorite. I like the fact that it also has the shiny silver foil. And the last one is quite different than my usual style, but I don't know, I just wanted to draw um, this, which is like a ha no, <laughs> which is like a haunted mansion-ish bookmark with some, you know, it's like a fun, drawing. Then I've also designed, like redesigned my La Luna tote bag, which I will grab. It's like a newer 
fresher design that looks like this. So the illustration is just a lot more detailed and fine. So this one will also be in my shop. And then lastly, a pin that will be delivered today. So I'm a little bit scared because it's always scared like getting a completely new product to see what it looks like. But um, I'm excited. So I will of course keep you updated when I receive that pin. And then this afternoon I will attach them to these backing cards and take photos and post it on Instagram so I can, you know, properly announce the shop update. I think it will be on Sunday, let me see, the 18th of September. It's always so exciting doing a shop update, but it's a little bit scary as well. Um, and it's like a little stressful, but that's fine. So right now I'm actually waiting for my friend Leora from Books with Leo. She'll be coming over to my place and then we're going to have a coffee and just go on a lovely walk. I hope it's not going to rain, it's a bit cloudy and gloomy outside. Um, but autumn is definitely here. So let's go for a walk and then after that just get back to working. Okay, can you tell I'm excited for autumn with this outfit? <laughs> Got this new bag as well that is absolutely stunning and it screams autumn. Yes, I'm excited! <laughs> Back home again. Had such a lovely walk with Leora. We had a pumpkin spice latte. Ooh. <laughs> Although my outfit is way too warm, I thought it was going to be quite chilly and cold outside, but I am sweaty. <laughs> so I was a bit too excited about seeing this autumn-ish weather that turned out to be very warm. Um, but it is 12.30 right now. I'm not really hungry yet, so we'll have some lunch later on. But I will be listening again to the audiobook, waiting for my pin to arrive. And I'm going to start editing this vlog, actually, which of course means I won't be listening to the audiobook at the same time, but just like importing the footage and everything. So let's get back to work. Oh my god, guys, I just got the pins in the mail. <laughs> That's so gorgeous. I'm so happy. Okay, let's take her. I can't wait to open her. <laughs> Ooh! Will it focus? Look! Okay, so I have to take the back off so then you'll see what it looks like. Oh, I love it! I'm so happy! It is so cute! <laughs> okay, so this pin will also be in my shop. Um, on Sunday the 18th. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> this is always like scary whenever you get new products that are quite expensive to make, you know, um, to see what they look like. But I am incredibly happy with how they turned out. Okay, I need to, um, I'm gonna go back to work. I've listened to like 30% of Sally Rooney's book right now and I'm enjoying it very much still. I haven't read anything more from my bitch, but that's just because I haven't really had time to sit down and read. But I will read more in that one um, tonight. Okay, so now I am a bit hungry. So I don't know what this piece of hair is doing. Oh well. Let's listen to the audiobook and let's make some lunch.
Okay, so I just created some visuals for my shop update that I can post on social media, you know, and I tried listening to a bit more from the audiobook, but I've noticed that it's actually really difficult, like constantly being, like having to be on, as in your brain constantly needs to focus on listening, which of course is the case you can't listen or focus on something 24-7. So I'm taking a little break from the audiobook because I just realized that I had to like scroll back a couple of minutes because I was just like, wait, am I still listening? I have still listened to quite a bit already. I am 42% of the way through and still enjoying it so very much. I feel like I can relate a bit to some of these characters and it feels very raw and real and, you know, genuine things that normal people like you and me could potentially go through in their lives with friendship and love and sex and just, you know, getting to know new people, figuring out what you're feeling. So I'm enjoying it very much and I don't know, I'm just happy that I'm liking this one a lot because of normal people, which wasn't really my favorite. Although I would like to give it another try maybe, I don't know. Um, so I've take, I'm taking a little break from the audiobook. I also haven't really read physically yet, but that's just because I've been working. Um, but I'm going to, you know, finish up with these visuals for my shop update and then we'll see. Maybe I'll take a little reading break from like for like physical reading. But I'm also going to have some drinks tonight randomly with a friend, which is exciting. So I won't be able to read the entire night, but maybe it's good to have a little bit of a break um, in between. morning it's the next day so let's end this vlog let's first of all talk a little bit about how i experienced this reading challenge because it is freaking impossible <laughs> trying to like read every second or every minute of your day because it's impossible for your brain to constantly focus i thought at first oh maybe it's you know easy i can just listen to an audiobook all day it's not that easy at least not for me my brain can't focus that well for such a long period of time and actually you know soak in what I'm listening to. However, I did manage to listen to 70% of Beautiful World Where Are You by Sally Rooney. Um, here it is and I am still enjoying it so very much and I'm liking this one more than normal people. So that is saying something. Very excited about this one so I can't wait to finish this. Then I've also read nearly half of Night Bitch because when I got back home yesterday after getting drinks and also before that I managed to read quite a bit and I'm also very much enjoying this one. It is not amazing but I'm still very intrigued by these characters and you know what they're thinking and what they're going through. So right now I'm enjoying this one quite a bit and I'm curious to see um, 
you know, how this will end because it didn't really have the best reviews on Goodreads. So we'll see what I'm going to be thinking of it. So unfortunately I didn't finish any of the books, but I still managed to read so much. And I'm so happy I tried doing this challenge because it was very fun to kind of not go on your phone so much. And instead of scrolling through TikTok, just go and read something or listen to an audiobook. So very excited about this challenge. If you've got any fun challenge ideas for future reading challenges, definitely let me know in the comments. And also don't forget to check out Anna Louisa. I will leave a link in the description where you can check it out and you can use the code basicallybrit10 to get 10% off all the jewelry pieces on the website. And if you've reached the end of this video and you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment like these lips emoji because of this big smile. So anything with like the lips emoji. So I know that you've reached the end of this video and I think it's going to be quite a long one. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.